Hello from the Bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I'll introduce you to this great book. Demigods and Magicians. Crossover of the two awesome Rick Riordan series. Percy Jackson and the Olympians. And the King Chronicles. This uh, this one is a crossover of uh, the two main characters of the Percy Jackson series. Percy, Percy Jackson, also known as Percy, is the son of Poseidon who carries riptide and slays enemies. Was uh, previously was the mark of Achilles, hero of, hero of Olympus. Annabeth Chase, the son, uh, the the daughter of Athena, the goddess of wisdom. And and also the cousin of of Magnus Chase, who uh, actually it's not very related, but Magnus Chase is the son of Freya, Norse god. But you don't have to know that yet. Anyway, and she is the daughter of Athena, boyfriend of Persis Jackson, Carter King, the one who uses the power of Horus. The Egyptian god of war and fighting, I suppose. And and she. And that's Annabeth, that's Percy, that's Carter. Using an Egyptian sword called a kapash. And that, as you know, is Sadie King. Sister of Carter King. And the, you, and the user of hieroglyphs. To do magic, such as Hadi, means to destroy and all that cool stuff. And she is the pat. She has the patron goddess Isis, the the Egyptian goddess of magic. Yeah, yeah, so cool. And they are having a crossover. Well, the first thing is Sobek, the son of Sobek. Also known as a cute little crocodile who got turned into a giant mean crocodile by so by so by Sobek's necklace. And Sobek? Who's Sobek? Oh, he's the crocodile god of Egypt. And he's very, very, very annoying, and he's also very repulsive, and he's usually annoying and evil and all that stuff. He's not necessarily malevolent, but he's still Let's just say very repulsive and dangerous. And the son of Sobek is even worse. It's a gigantic crocodile that'll eat everything. And it's happened to be rampaging around Long Island. Ding, ding, ding! Wait, an Egyptian monster in Long Island? Where Camp Health Blood stands true and tall? That's not a coincidence. Which hero shall come after the son of Sobek? Obviously, Persis Jackson, son of Poseidon, and the hero of Olympus, and Carter King, combat magician, and the pat the, with the patron of Horus, comes after the Egyptian monster as well, and there they meet, and well, our favorite two heroes meet. How great is that? And they manage to defeat. With wit, the creature known as the son of Sobek, with the help with help of Greek and Egyptian power, and Sadie and Annabeth meet soon enough, chasing chasing Serapis, a, 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 a abomination of a god who Ptolemy, who was the general of Alexander the Great, whose child who. Who knew he had to mesh together the two cultures, Egyptian and Greek, together. And he made Serapis, who, uh, who had to be worshipped worshipped all over all the gods and was the king of all the Egyptian and the Greek gods. Wow. Well, he has to die, doesn't he? And so, Sadi and Annabeth used their powers to save the day once again. And soon enough, Annabeth and Percy go goes to a completely secluded world where Satine, an evil Egyptian magician who has plans of absorbing Greek and Egyptian Egyptian cultures using Greek and Egyptian magic, 
and becoming the king of the gods and whatever he wants to. But obviously, he has to be stopped. Sadie, Carter, Annabeth, and Percy head off to stop the evil magician from, from finding all the popcorn cups. Oops, I mean the hats, the fancy looking popcorn cone hats. Whatever. Anyway, you have to read the book to know about all the details of the popcorn cone hat. I mean, that's my nickname for it. And the better nickname is inside the book, but really, I'll leave the laugh to you while you're actually reading the book. It's a great book, and well, yeah, it's by Rick Riordan, and so you can't think otherwise. And like always, your book quester and the book quester. Damn, you know what happened to Satine? He gets trapped in a snow globe. How did that happen? You find out. I don't care.